Hello, today I want to share with you a story from Luke 17. This story is similar to what we're going through right now, so listen. Jesus was about to enter a village. Ten men who had leprosy approached him and asked to be healed. When Jesus saw them, he said, go show yourselves to the priests. This order that Jesus gave them is an interesting one because knowing what Jesus could do, why did he ask this of them? He knew that if they approached someone without leprosy, they could be stoned. Why would he ask them to put their life in danger by going to the town? Why did he ask for them to go among the people? Jesus was asking for obedience. The story tells us that when the men were on their way, they were cleansed, but nine of them kept walking and only one came back giving glory to God. When Jesus saw him, he asked for the other nine that didn't return. But he told the one who came back, rise and go, your faith has made you well. This story hits home because just like those men with leprosy, we've been isolated without being able to hug the people that we love the most. And we don't even want to go to places where there's a lot of people or a small group of people because we believe there's a risk. But today, Jesus is asking you the question, do you want to be completely healed? Show yourself. Show yourself means it is time to come back to church. It is time to show ourselves to obey and trust in the protection that comes when we trust in the Lord. It is time to experience God's complete healing, a heart and a mind that receive the peace that surpasses all understanding, a faith that moves mountains. It is time. 10 were destined to receive complete transformation, but only one returned to the source to receive complete healing. Your faith has made you well. Jesus healed his fears, his mind, and his heart, and he was now ready for what was next, just because he decided to come back. Psalms 36, nine says, for with you is the fountain of life. In your light, we see light. Come and present yourself to him who gives you life in abundance and restores you completely. Come and let's worship together and may the Lord grant us blessing and life in abundance.